Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your device is showing you this specific screen. Either there's the enter puck or there's the, you know, enter the SIM card pin. Now this is basically what the SIM card pin option will look like either on your Android device or your iPhone. Now there are a couple of different things you can do on this specific situation. The first thing you need to do is you need to figure out first if you even know the pin SIM card, you know, pin. If you don't know what it is or if you can't even give a good guess, the best thing to do from what I've heard is to actually go ahead and you see how it says two attempts remaining on your Android device. It will probably say the same thing. You basically want to go ahead and, you know, attempt to do those passwords or those pins. Now, when you go ahead and go through with those, you may come into a situation where you have this new screen setup that comes in, which tells you to enter the puck. What this stands for the personal unlocking key. Now, let's say you have the SIM card on your device, but you don't have your specific SIM card, you know, card that you, you know, usually come with. And the card itself has that unlock key on it. Now, if you don't have it anymore, it's totally okay. You literally just need to take the advice that Apple is giving you right here. It says, please call your carrier to obtain your PUK code. So what this means is, is that let's say you have T-Mobile. Well, you would have to go ahead and contact T-Mobile and ask them and let them know of what your specific key is. If you have AT&T, Verizon, whatever other, you know, manufacturers or phone plans out there, you would need to go ahead and call those specific manufacturers and have them send you out a new code. And it's a very easy thing. It doesn't take too much time. And all you would have to do at that point, I think they may even be able to give it to you over the phone. All you would have to do at that point is to essentially just go ahead and type in that code straight from here. That's the easiest thing you can do. As I mentioned before, this is like a no brainer in my opinion. And that's all you have to do is essentially get that code from your manufacturer, type it in here, and then you would essentially be able to get access to your device and have the SIM card fully working. As I mentioned before, this typically, you know, you need to do this if you just got a new SIM card and you may have thrown away that card, but that card is typically, you know, in your possession as soon as you put the SIM card into it. And then I would recommend going ahead, either contacting your manufacturer and then going from there or seeing if you have that card and typing in that code from there too. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I'll have every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.